You may be seated. Thank you. Today we shall talk about the greatest achievement on earth. People believe until they become very, very rich, famous, just talk about those things you desire for. Ask yourself, what is the greatest achievement on earth? Ask your neighbor. I can't hear you. Can somebody answer this question? That what is the greatest achievement? Greatest achievement on earth is having Jesus Christ. Mm, having Jesus Christ. You listen to that? You achieved that? Yes, man of God. Oh. You listen to that? He has got it wrong. Somebody who has Jesus and he cannot talk to Jesus and Jesus cannot talk to him. Ah, which kind of Jesus is that? Is it dead one? The only Jesus we have is Jesus of Nazareth in the power of Holy Ghost. If you have Jesus, you'll be able to talk to him and himself able to talk to you. Prayer is a two-way conversation. You talk and he talks. That is it. But a situation where you are the only one talking to who? With Jesus. That is why I say you got it wrong. The greatest achievement on earth is to walk on the spirit. Are you walking in the spirit? Yes. Mm. Okay, what does Jesus say about me? Don't lie because I know what Jesus said about me. What does he say now? Now. Concerning me. Concerning you, you are a genuine man of God. What will I say now? That is not the question I'm asking you. I think the greatest achievement on earth is to be filled with the Holy Spirit and have Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior and every other thing will be added unto you. Are you filled? Somehow. <laughs> Somehow. And what is not done well? I say what is not done well? Somehow. It's not done at all. That's Jesus' standard for you. Okay, thank you. We are asking ourselves the greatest achievement on earth. Because whatever you claim you have achieved, you are still struggling with peace. You are still struggling with joy. Joy today, another one tomorrow. Your joy is not constant. Your peace is not constant. I mean, what is the greatest achievement? Viewers, thank you for your time. And uh, I know the Lord will bless your time today. Let's take the book of Romans 12. A living sacrifice. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your body as a living sacrifice. Holy and pleasing to who? To who? To God. This is your true and proper worship. Listen to that. This is your true and what? Proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transferred by the world, by the renewing of your mind. Mm. Then you will be able to do what? Test and approve what God's way is. Is good, pleasing, and what? Perfect way. The team, which is Roman 12, you take your reading from verse 1 to the end, and the book of Daniel, 6, verse 10, and the first Corinthians, chapter 14, verse 14 to, to 15, or to the end. You have it good for you. And the book of Acts 2, verse 4, and the, the brother Job. Chapter 11, from verse 13 to 19. Hallelujah. As we continue the book of Galatians 4, 6, also we have, as we continue, we have more books. 
to talk about. As for me and my household, the greatest achievement on earth is to pray as God wants us to. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. Prayer is the master key. Why should anyone don't want a master key? Master key to lose and to burn. To pray as God wants you to pray. Is the greatest achievement on earth. You will be able to know God's opinion about yourself and God's opinion about others. You will be able to get involved in God's project, in God's master plan. That's God's project everywhere. God's project. Help is God's project. As God will have talk. As God will have pray. As God will teach. As God will. These are God's project. Such a life of prayer costs. Such a life of prayer, what? Cost. You know what I mean by cost? It demands sacrifice. All prayer saints have spent hours every day in prayer. All prayer saints, God people, have spent hours every day in prayer. This means prayer is a lifestyle to them. Is prayer a lifestyle to you? A lifestyle to you? No! Prayer cannot be a lifestyle because with word of prayer on your lips, it is not possible for you to pray without ceasing. With word or prayer on your lips, it's not possible for well, prayer to be a lifestyle. Lifestyle means praying without ceasing. Are you praying now? Are you in the attitude of prayer? No. You are looking at me. At the same time, your heart is ceased. You cannot do that. Because this is the level we want to build it to. The saint were able to pray without ceasing, because they were in the spirit of prayer. But you are not in the spirit of prayer, but prayer with word on your lips, not in your heart. They were able to achieve the because they were in the spirit of prayer. There's a difference between Saying where and praying prayer. What is prayer? Prayer is a relationship that exists between God and his children. A relationship that what? That what? That exists between who and his children, between God and Christians, between God and believers, between God and God's people, between God and God's person. A relationship that exists. What kind of relationship you have and you are praying? You must have a relationship before prayer. Who is God? God is spirit. You. The written about you is spirit too. 
So it means spirit, spirit. Spirit John himself in nest at your spirit means heart. When I say heart, I mean your spirit. You, real self, not your body, a spirit. God, a spirit. Now, John is saying, immersed. Tell your neighbor, the real thing about you, the spirit, the real thing. If God wants to talk to you, your heart is a contact point, not your body. So when you hear people say, I hear God talking to you in here, you know it's not God. Heart. That means your spirit. Your heart is the contact point, is the communication point. Like the book of Romans 9 verse 1 said. Is spirit in our heart, in our spirit, enables us to cry naturally. That is effortless. It's not the kind of prayer you pray now. When you are praying, <laughs> you get tired. No. Naturally. The spirit, God's spirit, in our heart, enables us to do what? To preach naturally, to cry naturally, Abba, Father. That book of Galatians 4, verse 6. Are you with me? What am I saying if you are with me? Am I just talking to myself? I'm talking to myself. I'm going, I'm going back. God's spirit in our heart. It needs for God's spirit to come into our heart. Our heart must act upon the word of God. Our heart must act upon what? Upon the word of God. His spirit in our heart enables us to cry naturally, Abba, Father. Heart, what is heart? Our life reflects what is in our heart. Tell your neighbor, my life reflects what is in my heart. Why do you like this? <laughs> May there's kind of joy in your heart. <laughs> heart is trouble. <laughs> I am what is in my heart. You are what is in your heart. Tell your neighbor. I can't hear you. That is why we say, don't just get married to people because it's beautiful, it's handsome, it's good looking, famous, but love is the things of the heart. I am what is in my heart. You are what is in your heart. My life reflects what is in my heart. We talk about heart, 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 heart. The heart refers to the inner man, the man himself. That is heart. The man himself, heart. The heart, the man himself. It is the seat of desire, the seat of will, emotion, knowledge, wisdom, moral character. It is the fountain of all he does. Man, 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 the man himself, the heart. In my heart, in my heart, Lord, I 
why God is interested in the state of our heart. He's interested in the state of your heart. The heart. The man himself. The man himself. The heart. Let's say once say The heart. The man himself. I can hear you. You see people waiting for healing? People are waiting for healing. See them there. If you truly believe in your heart, your character will reflect your faith. You see, somebody who has problem will start laughing. You know he will be here. That is why he's laughing. Why you see some of them there? Man, help me! Uh, you are here already. Tell your neighbor. If you truly believe in your heart, your behavior will reflect your faith. Maybe some people are trying to change now. Ah, man of God is talking. Let him start laughing. No, that cannot work. Yeah, you see some who start saying, oh my God, thank you, Lord. Even before some are here today, they have arranged party at home. They have arranged some food. Friend, please, I'm coming back. Please, I want you to rejoice with me. Yet, he's still having that pain. Why? If you truly believe in your heart, your behavior will reflect your world, your faith. He has arranged party, and indeed, he will do that party today. If you truly believe in your heart, your behavior will reflect your faith. That is why when you say, this capsule, I don't know whether I should stop using it. I will ask the man of God after prayer. If you truly believe in your heart, tell your neighbor, if you truly believe in your heart, <laughs> your behaviors <laughs> will reflect your faith. After the prayer, I will tell man of God whether I can still use this tablet. After the prayer, I will tell man of God whether I should go for medical checkup to see whether I'm here. Tell your neighbor, if you truly believe in your heart, your behavior will reflect your faith. Can you see what we call heart? Heart, the man himself. Heart, the seat of the way. Heart, the seat of wisdom. Heart, the seat of knowledge. Heart, the conscience. His spirit in our heart, God's spirit in our heart, enable us to cry naturally. Abba, Father. A believing heart produces good work and right behavior as proof of faith. A believing heart produces right behavior and good work as proof of faith. I see somebody who is behaving, let me, let me, let me, let me. Oh, you know, this one is not a Christian. Please don't talk to me like that. I will deal with you today. A believing heart produces right behavior and good work, good work as proof of faith. Good work and right behavior that honor Jesus revealed that true faith is already lodged in our heart. Right behavior, 
good jobs that honor God reveal that true faith is already what? It's already what? In our hearts. Take note. Right behavior and good job never produce faith. They are the result of the faith. They are the result of what? Faith. That is why you can see me here. How much education? You that well educated, a professor, will you stand and be talking like this? But because the spirit in my heart enabled me to talk naturally, without carrying laptop, without carrying book, without carrying anything. Without carrying anything, without having paper, without go back to the altar again and praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. You see, you see, Jesus is great. I'm telling you, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Amen. <laughs> you talk naturally. Ability to talk. This sense of fatherhood produces a natural basis for prayer. The sense of fatherhood produces a natural basis for prayer. So where are we going? Now you have known your position. You are not what you say you are when it comes to things of the Spirit. I don't want the last day to come before you know this. To be pure in heart, our heart must act upon the word of God. Tell your neighbor, to be pure in heart, our heart must act upon the word of God. I can't hear you. Our heart must act upon the word of God to be pure in heart. How? How? That is the question now. How? By meditating on what we read in the scripture. By meditating on what we read in the world. And turn it over and over and over again in our hearts. So that our heart can act upon the word to influence our conduct. Ah, please don't talk to me like that. When the word of God influences your behavior, you find yourself naturally not talk like that. Not strong to talk. Not strong. Ah, I don't want to talk like that. I don't know. Oh my God. When you finish talking, ah, you want to talk, you, ah, you are struggling to stop your behavior. You keep striving to, I don't want to do this. I find myself doing them. The heart has not yet art. We have to walk and walk and walk to turn our heart in tune with God. Because our right behavior is determined by the condition of our hearts. What is determined? Eh? Our behavior is determined by the world. By the condition of your heart, your behavior is determined. When the anger comes, you, what does this TB Joshua is saying? I'm going home. Nobody can stop you. Tell your neighbor, our behavior is determined by the condition of our heart. Prayer is a two-way conversation. I talk to God, and God talk to me. That is prayer. 
That is prayer. I talk to God and God talk to me. This is what I mean by God's spirit in our heart enables us cry naturally, effortless. Abba, Father. I talk to God and God talk to me. Don't forget, God is spirit. Those who want to talk to him must do so. Must do so. In spirit and truth. If you do not talk to him in spirit, it is not in truth. If you do not talk to God in spirit, mean it is not in truth. And so, it is all nothing in vain. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus. If you do not talk to him in spirit, because God is spirit, it is not in truth. And so, it is all nothing, all in vain. Me, you talk to the air. Me, you are inviting Satan to come and attack you. But when Satan hears the name of Jesus, look at it, oh, who is talking there? This is what happened to several sons of Sceva. They were not talking to God in spirit. So when they say, Jesus, Jesus, Satan, who is talking? Who is talking there? Who is talking there? You want to know who is talking? 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 talking? By the time they trace you, say, you are the one talking. They want to know by what authority are you talking in spirit? If they realize you are not talking in spirit, oh my God, they, those nightmares, those attack, you know, sometimes when you pray and sleep, that is when they will attack you. If I'm talking to you, yes. imagine when you now finish your fasting for two days, three days fasting, you suffer so much, you refuse to eat, you struggle not to eat, not in command of God, but in command of your work. Yourself. After you try it, you try, you try, you try, you're about to die. You say, no, I will not die. This fast, I must finish it today. You, you now finally finish the fast. You say, thank God. Jesus, I know you have accepted me. But the time you now sleep, they will nickel you and start to give you food. <laughs> Hearts. Let someone say hearts. Heart. God listening to us when we pray. And he replies in relation to the state of our heart. He replied according to the state of our heart. Let someone say heart. Let someone say heart. My life reflect what is in my heart. Are you with me? He replies in relation to the state of your he replied according to to the world, the state of your heart. The heart refers to the man himself. It is the seat of will. The seat of what? Will. Conscience, wisdom. It is the fountain of all you do. Let someone say, the man himself. The heart. I can hear you. Tell your neighbor, take care of your heart. I can hear you. I can hear you. Take care of your heart. Constantly pray. 
in your heart. Constantly pray in your heart without ceasing. Constantly pray in your heart without what? Without ceasing. In him, in spiritual song, making melodies in your heart to the Lord. The best way to take care of your heart is constantly pray in your heart. In him, in spiritual song, I will praise him. I will praise him. In your heart. I will praise him forever. Constantly pray in your heart. Because saying well is not praying prayer. You are saying words, not prayer. Tell your neighbor, say you are saying words, not prayer. I don't want you to waste your time. Continue to say well and say you are praying. When prayer is a two-way conversation, you talk to God and God talks to you. That is prayer. Please work on your heart to be pure in heart. Your heart must act upon the word of God by meditating, by meditating, walk, by meditating, by meditating. And one of the processes is to Continue pray in your heart. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, take more of me, give me more of you. Take more of me, give me more of you. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, take more of me, give me more of you. Get your heart in order. It's the city of God. It's the communication point. It's the contact point in your heart. The real thing about you, your heart. The real thing about you is your heart. That is the real thing about you. That is landing point. Landing point. That is the station. Your heart. The prayer you see me offer any moment from now is not that prayer that answer. The prayer that answer are the one that have been loaded myself. I'm pregnant now. So you have to be pregnant of the word to deliver. You have to be pregnant. You cannot continue praying all the time with the word of prayer on your lips. Will you continue to, the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus? Anytime you say that, without the Spirit of God, your body is just, if people call you, how are you? You will not answer. Because it's not possible for you to answer because you are the one praying. You are the one praying in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and somebody says, how are you? You will not answer because you are praying. And you are not the one praying. It is the spirit of Father in our heart that enables us to what? To pray. Oh, my God. My brother, come here. Come. Let us demonstrate this to them. You see my brother here? So now I want to pray. I want to pray. But I'm not supposed to pray. It is the Spirit of Father 
that's supposed to enable me to pray. But now I want to pray, just the way you, with the same way you pray. When I, I'm praying now, you call me. You talk to me, continue to talk to me. Hmm? Yeah. You don't know I'm praying. <laughs> talk louder, let people hear you. Uh -huh. You are disturbing me, please, I'm praying. <laughs> That is the prayer we offer. We pray on our own. We are the one praying. But with the help of Holy Spirit now, I want to pray. You call me, eh? You talk loud and let people hear what you are saying. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hello, sir. How are you? How are you? You see, we are talking together and I'm praying. Okay, Hello, sir. How are you? So where are you going? I'm going to sit somewhere, sir. Huh? I'm going to my seat. You are going to your seat? Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm, okay, okay. <laughs> they look at the crowd, they are looking at us. What do you think is happening? And I'm praying, and at the same time, I'm doing what? Eh? I'm, I'm praying, at the same time, I'm talking. Uh -huh. They are trying to know what you are doing. Okay, okay. <laughs> they are still laughing. I don't know why they are laughing. <laughs> and at the same time, do you what? That is why there is no room for enemy. But on your own case, okay, now I want to pray with my own help, my own help. I want to pray on my own. Uh -huh. yeah, talk to me. Don't disturb me, I'm praying. Don't disturb me, I'm praying. But if there's more important thing, I will stop my prayer, I will attend to it. Like money, I trust you. <laughs> That's it, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Can you see the need to allow the Spirit of Father? We don't know how to pray. But the Spirit of Father help us in our war. In our prayer. But what has happened to you now? Take this. The Spirit of Father in our heart enable us to pray naturally. That word naturally means it's not me. Effortless. The Spirit of Father in our heart enable us to do what? To pray naturally.
Thank you, thank you. You will agree with me. That is the greatest achievement here on earth. To be able to know God's opinion about you and uh, about others. And to get involved in God's project. That is the greatest achievement. I don't know any other achievement that can be compared to this. I bless your hearts. You may be seated. Thank you. Hallelujah. So, like I have said, constantly pray in your hearts. In Him, in the spiritual what? The spiritual song. If it's just the name Jesus, the name Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ, you have done it all in your heart. That alone. The name Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ. That alone in your heart. Running and running over and over and over and over and over and over. And over that is it's, it's more than enough to flush out all this strong conflict between flesh and spirit. For against, for again, for again. There's so much strong division. So much division in your heart. Whether to go or not, whether to do it or not, whether to listen or not, whether to pray or not. Flush this. Take a stand. Your heart must take a stand for Jesus. Hallelujah. Constantly pray in your what? Him, spiritual son, and making melodies in your heart for the Lord. And constantly pray in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus. You have said it all. There, you cannot turn to praises and worship in your heart. I know you can save me. Save me, Lord. I know you can deliver me. Deliver me, Lord. That's all. Oh, oh Lord Jesus, I know you can save me. Save me, Lord. I know you can deliver me. Deliver me, Lord. I know you can hear me. Hear me, Lord. With this, you receive self healing. Self deliverance. On your own, you will be delivered without anybody delivering you. On your own, you will get saved without anybody still praying for you for salvation. You get blessed abundantly without someone come to pray for you. I pray repeat again. Lord Jesus, I know you can save me. Save me, Lord. With that constantly running in your heart, you will soon get self-deliverance, self-salvation. That is a salvation that no one comes to pray for you. You pray for yourself. Your heart will be clear. Like I have said, to be pure in heart. By what? By meditation. To be pure in heart. By what? The word become part of you. Stand up, sir. The word, the word of God become part of you. To be part of you, integral, like your hand. Like this hand. This hand now is not only part, it's an integral. You cannot remove it. If anything happens to this hand, it happens to you all. If you have a pain here, you have a day, everything affected. That is part. Not only just part, an integral part. So for the world to become an integral part, a few. Meditation. Our heart, heart 
upon the way to give what? A new birth. The Bible says God's power working through his word and his spirit to give a new birth. Let someone say, God's power. God's power. When I say God's power, I mean Jesus. When I say power, Jesus. Jesus, power. God's power working through his words and his spirit give a new birth. So sit down, sir. So, so thank you.